Women's head soccer coach Nikki Izzo Brown is joining me. Coach, first of all, welcome and congratulations. Here you are about to play round two of the NCAA. Before we talk about this game against Penn State, let's just talk about the whole season in general. Um, you guys are really getting hot when it matters. Yeah, yeah. As a coach, you want to be peaking right about this time in postseason. Uh, it was an exciting opportunity when we went into the Big 12 tournament championship. Uh, you know, we had to get through the likes of number 16, uh, TCU, Texas, Oklahoma State. So the girls have been really just stepping up, and it's been great to watch them build their confidence but also play their best soccer right now and win that championship. What do you think have been some of the biggest challenges this season? You have a lot of girls who came back, some new faces, but what, what was the biggest challenge, you think? Um, just everyone believing in their job. Like, just, you know, don't worry about what a forward's doing if you're a defender. If you're a defender, you know, or a forward and a defender, just, just playing inside yourself. And I think that was the, the biggest thing we just needed to do is concentrate and be the best you could be in your position. Everything else will just kind of work itself out. And I, and I think we finally kind of got that piece and, and just kind of ran with it towards the end of the season. Let's talk about Penn State. You saw them earlier this year. Yeah. You lost two to nothing. A little revenge would be nice to beat them this go around you're at Penn State just talk about what you're expecting out of this game yeah I mean they're the Big Ten champions we're the Big 12 champions so it is going to be an absolute battle we um, you know always are seeing Penn State in some fashion if it's not the NCAA tournament obviously regulation and it's just a, a rivalry that will bring the best or the worst out in both of us so we're we're looking forward to it it's going to be a, a great match and uh, we hope the good guys win you guys have won six in a row now um, what's been what's been the difference you think with this hot streak? It, just the confidence, yeah. you know, and, and us, you know, believing in ourselves and and believing in each other and, and really wanting this season to continue and and that belief uh, and that iron confidence that they have in themselves right now is is what's pushing us through. You know, to beat uh, a team like Virginia Tech that you know has tied Virginia, beat UNC this season, um, just kind of showed the the character of this team, and I'm just excited that. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm part of it, but also just see, you know, when you really get into that mindset, what uh, what can happen? You have a lot of players who have been very solid, you know, Jordan returning, but who has really kind of stood out this year? Maybe some of your veterans and some of the newcomers who have pleasantly surprised you. Yeah, I mean, you look at Keza Massey, who's our uh, Big 12 goalkeeper of the year. Of course, you know, Keza would stand out, but then you have Maya McCutcheon, who's like that unsung hero. She's the kid who does the dirty work and maybe isn't getting her name in lights, but is just doing her job. A.J. Rodriguez has come on strong. Um, and then we were fortunate enough to get Lauren Segala back, and, and she's been doing her thing. And, you know, I could keep going. Delari, you know, she's, you know, she's so fun to watch and, and create so much for us. But every game, somebody is, you know, the versatility of this team, somebody's stepping up and, you know, we had two uh, first goals in the in the NCAA tournament with Aria and obviously Izzy. So it's just going to be exciting uh, to keep watching, you know, who's going to step up and, and who's going to shock us, but also just do their job. And when you get to NCAAs, it's do or die. You lose, you're out. So everything is on the line. What is the mentality of your team right now? Well, it, we knew going into that Big 12 championship that we had to win two games. So, you know, pressure's a privilege. And we, we understood that that pressure was something we had to embrace um, and, and we had to go for. So it's definitely a, a mindset for us right now, but we've experienced in the Big 12 and, and knowing what's at stake with Penn State and getting us to a Sweet 16 is, is definitely a, a spot we want to get to. I know you don't want to brag on yourself, but you have just built such an amazing, successful program here. I think people expect you guys to be the NCAAs every year, which like you said, pressure is a privilege. What has been the secret to your success over this, this long haul you've been here? You surround yourself with good people. You know, my staff, I don't, I don't thank them enough. They played for me. Um, obviously they've been coaching alongside of me for uh, double digits. Now I don't know how many <laughs> years I should, but um, I, and I think consistency. I think just uh, the consistency of what you do, but also evolving and, and try, me, myself, trying to be the best version of myself. Uh, but, um, you know, we, we try to bring in the right kids and have the right staff, and, and then it just all kind of falls into place. And you've been able to recruit some amazing players who have gone on to do, you know, pros, Olympics. So, I mean, what do you think it is about West Virginia soccer that 
these players say, yeah, that's where yeah. I want to go. Yeah. It, you know, West Virginia is a very special place. And, and when they come, they, they recognize how much people uh, appreciate what they're doing here. But we also uh, want to develop the athlete. And when players commit to us like Akisha or an Ashley or Bianca, they know that we as a staff and we as a community, let alone athletic department, are committed to making them achieve their goals. So it's it's kind of um, a great opportunity that kids recognize. You know, we have 32 pros that you commit to West Virginia. West Virginia is going to commit to you double it. Yeah. So let's talk about NIL. Things have changed. I mean, did you ever think in your <laughs> lifetime of coaching no. that it would be, we would be where we are right now? You know, and I've, I've talked about this. If Rolex called me up today and said, hey, Nikki, where are you going to get your Rolex? I would be like, no, no, <laughs> I don't want one. I don't want any bling. Of course I would. You know, and why would we not do this for the student athlete? If people are willing to recognize the hard work uh, that these student athletes uh, have contributed day in and day out, why not give them these extra opportunities? And I'm all in. I, I am so thankful for what Country Road Trust is doing. Um, you know, they have their hand in this success because we have so many athletes part of this trust. And it's important to me. You know, I've, I've been... Um, always on, you know, that, that soapbox wanting the same for my athlete as any other athlete because ours work just as hard and having this trust that are, is, is backing women's soccer, but all athletes here at West Virginia is, is enormous for our success. Because let's be honest, st players now, no matter what sport, it's not just the education and how you're going to develop I me, mean, they, they want to get paid. I yeah. mean, that is the landscape. Yeah. And that's, you know, for so long, coaches, you know, you couldn't, there were no extra privileges. And all of a sudden it's like, well, now you can do all of this. So it really, it, it really opens the door, but probably makes it a little more difficult as well. Yeah, it does. I remember when I have a kid babysit and I couldn't pay him a certain amount of money. I mean, it, it's gone, it has evolved so much. And you know, from a recruiting standpoint, you know, so many other schools are, are paying athletes. And we have to uh, appreciate that, embrace that, but also do the same for our athletes and let them know how important they are. And, you know, as much as you can feel how much coach loves you, you still, you know, you still want to have that opportunity. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm grateful, I'm thankful, I'm all in with the trust. All right, so big game. Yes, Friday, huge. State. How excited are you? So excited. It's it's just a great opportunity again for me to watch a team that um, I love, you know, love coaching, and um, I just hope that uh, we can pull out that win and get after. And we're going to give them everything we got and then some. All right, they're going to beat them. Let's beat them like we are. postseason, right? More important it. than the regular you got season. It. All right, you coach, got it. Thanks, thanks, Appreciate Amanda. You. Appreciate you. Thanks.